Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Sea Mongrel. Now, this is a sequel or maybe a prequel to Hungry Lamu, which you might remember we played and did a story explained video for last year. We also played the update for that game, and yeah, this is meant to be like a story that kind of runs alongside that or comes before it maybe. I'm not entirely sure but it is connected in some way. But this game is very different, apparently this is a turn-based Japanese styled RPG with horror elements. So it's going to be an interesting playthrough, I've heard it's around half an hour to an hour long depending on how you play it. So sit back, relax and let's dive into Sea Mongrel and see what this game is all about. Okay, looks like we got two uh, people on a train here or a bus. Kim says, I can't believe you forgot our second anniversary. Theo says, what the? I told you I didn't forget. You were the one that told me we didn't need some big celebration for our anniversaries. Yeah, we didn't need some big celebration, but a little date to commemorate it would have been nice. Okay, and that's what we're having right now. Why are you making such a big fuss about it? Because this was obviously such a last minute thing. If I didn't even ask you what we were doing, I bet you would have just gone for your martial arts class. <laughs> He's a martial artist, Theo's like, ah, yeah, you got me there. Kim says, you say you love me, but sometimes you don't act like it. I do. Yeah, whatever. I don't know if these were maybe like, characters that were in Hungry Lamu, I can't remember. But either way, it seems like these are two adult characters, I thought they might be kids, but they're not. They've got an anniversary together. They're going on a little date, maybe to the aquarium, right? Okay, it looks like we're arriving. The art style is very simplistic, just like Hungry Lamu. Damn it. What? Pins and needles. Walk it off. WASD, remember? <laughs> In real life, we use these controls. I know how to walk him. Yeah, but you've always forgot enter to open the menu. Huh. Enter to open the menu. Oh, here we go. Okay. So we've got a party. Bag. What's the bag? Okay, looks like uh, healing items. Yeah, restores 20 HP, restores 50 stamina. So we've got stamina and we've got health. Okay, backspace to return. That's a very weird control. I'm all over the keyboard here. Party, let's have a look. So we've got Theo, he's level 1, max HP attack. Ah, oh, we've got their like stats here, I see. Right, let's go. So we're walking about. Hey, the aquarium's the other way. Alright, I didn't know. Okay, it's my first time here. So let's go and check this out. Picked up a band-aid, nice, okay. This isn't the way, wow, you're really stuck on a very set path here. We've gotta go straight up to the aquarium, guys. Going on a little date for our anniversary here to the uh, seaside aquarium. Hey, what you got there? This is Demi. What, just some spare drinks from today? You can have them. I was gonna throw them out anyway, or whatever. Sweet. Are you serious? We're not beggars, Theo. What? Free drinks are free. You're so gross. Five soft drinks. I'll take them. Healing items. So this is the aquarium, guys. Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. Very nice. Who are these people? Just a mother with her daughter by the look of it. Did you enjoy yourself, Zoe? I did, Mama. I got to see so many cool fishies. My favourite was the water worm. That's great, dear. Let's head home. Whose favourite fish at an aquarium is the water worm? <laughs> so weird. I guess everyone's got their favourite, right? She says, okay, mom, they're gonna go home. Who's this dude? Seb. Ouch. Got myself a nasty cut here. You all got a spare bandage roll I can use? Ah, uh, he's just telling us, yeah, how to heal, I think. So here's the ticket booth. Jen says, good evening, two tickets for our lovely couple here. Do note, we're closing in around 30 minutes, so enjoy your visit at the Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. They got there late in the day, didn't they? I'm gonna go and speak to uh, the snacks and drinks guy. Sorry, bird, we're all out. All right. Is this security? Or is this a tour guide? Brad says, what did that guy put in the food today? My stomach is not agreeing with it at all. Just 10 more minutes, Brad. You can hold it. All right, cool. I'm gonna go in, guys. I'm gonna go in and have a little tour of this aquarium. All right, we got a sign. Can we read that? We can. 
Large mouth bass are common river fish. They love to feed on smaller fishes like bait fish, which are abundant in rivers. Large mouth bass are opportunistic apex predators, commonly measuring in around 16 inches. So interesting. Huh, fat fish. All right, we learned something about fish, guys. Whoa, its mouth is huge. Probably why it's so fat. It's in a very small aquarium. It can't swim around. I feel like this is kind of cruel. Just like you. What? It was just a joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. Jeez, we can't even take jokes anymore? It wasn't even a joke. It was just rude. And I've told you I don't like it when you joke about that. Fine. Sorry, I guess. He's not really sorry, is he? We can see these fish now. Oh, we can't actually interact with these. Alright, here we go, another one. This must be a trout. Oh yeah? I suddenly feel like eating sushi. So mean, right in front of Miss Fishy. Alright, who else do we have? We've got a sign here, can we read this? The largemouth bass has an option of bag which allows it to use items it has stored. Different items have different effects. In times of extreme danger, the largemouth bass must use its most valuable item to ensure survival. However, items are limited, and the largemouth bass must choose wisely on which items it should use. Running is also an option that largemouth bass has. However, when pit up against a big threat, it is unlikely that largemouth bass would even be able to escape. Bass with a bag? Okay, this definitely doesn't seem right. Yeah, so it's kind of guiding us through the tutorial of how we can use items, I think. Kim says, and since when were you a fish expert? That's true. He doesn't seem to be that knowledgeable about these things. Um, anything else we can check here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe these ones? Yes. It's a Narlin and Bori from Finding Mimo. <laughs> They're so pretty. I guess Mimo got lost again. Or maybe they replaced him with this pretty redfish. That's just cold. Hmm. Alright, cool. Let's go. We've looked at the fish, or at least some of them. Got another sign here. The Sea Habitat Aquarium is our largest tank here at Sea Ecosystem Adventure Park. It houses several types of marine life like fish and coral. All the marine life in the tank support one another, creating a miniature ecosystem within the tank. Sounds sick. Let's go check it out. Alright, let's go check it out indeed. What's down here? I kind of want to see if there's anything down here we can collect. No. Nothing to collect down here. Let's go up then. Let's go and see this show. It's a long way up. Here we go, guys. Wow. That's quite some uh, aquarium there. They've got room to swim about for sure. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Sorry for not planning anything for our second anniversary. It's okay. All that matters is that we're together now. Yeah. Come on. Let's see everything else before the place closes. Okay. Cool. So far, guys, this is just a pleasant little game. We're just exploring, going on a date with these two. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. What the... Uh, did they close already? We weren't even here for 15 minutes yet. Maybe they forgot to tell us they were closing early. Guess we should get out of here. Fine. Sorry, Kim. What else can we do anyway? Oh. What's that sound? Sounds like someone's coming. Must be an employee coming to fetch us uh, and take us out or something. Wouldn't be so sure about that. What the heck is that? Hey dude, don't worry, we're just about to leave. Is everything okay? We're not looking for any trouble here. We didn't know you guys closed early today. Oh man, no, what is that? A largemouth bass. What's Theo gonna do? I guess I'll fight it, right? Um, how do we select? Oh, there we go, jab. Uh, and Kim... I guess Kim can maybe... Guard? I don't know. Theo used a jab on a largemouth bass. Kim is guarding. Oh, okay, that was good then. He attacks Kim. So now we'll fight again. 
with Theo, or Jab. And I'm just going to take the time to fight with Kim and Wack. We need to get some damage in on this bass. So she, he does three, and she does two. Okay, she's a bit weaker. Largemouth Bass attacked her again. Okay. You know what? We could probably just go through this, like, fighting. I don't seem to be losing any health right now. This is kind of easy. There we go. He's fallen. Wow, that was an easy fight. Nice. Theo and Kim gained something. I couldn't read that in time. You kind of just... Uh, I'm not scrolling through that text, by the way, guys. It just flies past of its own accord. Kim says, what the hell was that? Theo, say something. I, I, I don't know. Is it a mascot or something? Its scales felt real when I punched it. <laughs> just punches the fish. A and uh, it attacked us. Yeah. Is it dead? I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Right now. Put the same thing. Alright, let's do it. Let's not lollygag. Although, I do want to know what's this way in case I miss anything. Look, there's an axe here. I'm taking this fire axe just in case. Oh, sweet, guys. We've got a weapon. Be careful with it. I can handle myself, thank you very much. Sweet. So she learned a new ability. Can we go this way? I kind of just want to, you know, explore this way and see what's up. Ooh, we're sitting in this bathroom, guys. White glove. What the heck is a white glove? Let's check. Oh, it slaps someone awake if they fall to sleep. Okay, I got you. Nice. We'll take that. Let's check the other bathroom. There's somebody in here. Oh, and we got bags. Gauze. Mia says, Eep, please don't hurt me. Hey, chill. We're just normal people. Oh, thank God. You okay? No, I'm not. Me and my sweet boyfriend just wanted to celebrate our first month, sorry. It's a weird way to say anniversary. It was supposed to be a simple fun date to the aquarium. He even told me he has a surprise for me. Then the lights went out and we ran into this terrifying fish thing. Looks like we weren't the only ones. Well, uh, where's your boyfriend now? We hid for a while until he told me that he was going to get help. He should be coming back for me soon. Alright, well, you stay here and just hang tight, okay? We're gonna go. Let's have a look. What else is there? The bag. Soft drink in there. Sweet. It's kind of going the completely uh, the wrong way here. But you know, I want to kind of have a look around. Oh my god, what the heck is that? Screw that. That actually scared me a little bit. Ooh, this guy. Kind of lost his head here. Oh god. Is that... It's too dark to see, but the smell gives it away. We have to get out of here, Theo. We will, we will, but I want to explore some more. Holy moly, it's dark. Can I turn the power on? This control panel looks like it could open the shutter door. It's missing a fuse, though. Alright. So, are we looking for a fuse now? I'm worried something's going to be in here, guys. It's very dark. It's probably a case where, like, the shutter door is sealed. Oh, we got the fuse. Here we go. I'm guessing we can't get out until we've uh, opened the shutter. Alright, the fuse fits. The shutter door should be open now. Or shuttle door, I should say. Let's go, Kim. Wait, Fio. There's a switch here for emergency lights. It would be nice to see again. Flick it. Oh! Hammerhead Shark. What is Fio going to do? Alright, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to uppercut with Fio. And then with Kim, I'm going to swift swing. And then we might be able to heal ourselves next time. I don't want to heal yet, because we've got quite a lot of health. But yeah, it's weird that shark has, like, a human face. It is very hungry, lamu like <laughs> Let's see what happens now. Okay, uppercut. Six damage. I don't know how much damage it has. It would be good if it showed how much damage the enemies have. Um, so what I'm going to do now is jab this sucker. Kim, 
Swiss swing. Oh, okay, we've been knocked down. Come on, Kim, attack. Sweet, okay, we've done some more damage. So what I'm gonna do now is fight another uppercut. Oh, I can't use that, actually. We're gonna need to do a jab this time. With Kim, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heal her with the band-aid. And hopefully this uh, kind of works out for us. Ooh, yeah, that did work out. All right, four damage. What's Theo gonna do now? Now would probably be a good time to use this to restore our stamina. Nice. Okay, what's Kim gonna do? Kim, I think we'll have her do the swift swing. Okay, here we go. Boom, that's six. It's now bleeding. Oh, nice. We've caused bleed on the enemy, guys. So what's Theo going to do now? Now we've got our stamina back, so we can now um, uppercut again. And I think with Kim, what we'll do is use the band-aid. Oh, no, I used it on Theo. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Great. Theo missed his attack. Uh, but I think the shark did as well. Okay. Fight. Uppercut. Kim, fight. Swift swing. Guys, we're going to have to um, use stamina on Kim. There we go. No. Okay, he's damaged us. Our speed has fallen. Man, this shark is tough. Oh, we've put him to sleep, though. Okay, what's Theo going to do? Well, uppercut again. And what's Kim going to do? Swift swing. This should work now, guys. We should actually be able to take him down. He regains consciousness. No! But he did miss us, though. Okay. He's gone to sleep again. Kim used swift swing. Did another six damage. Oh, yes, we got him. Nice. Guys, I was very lost then. I thought we'd completely messed up a few times, but no, we've got through it. <laughs> she looks absolutely traumatized, by the way. So does uh, Theo, to be honest. Did we just uh, beat up a shark? Yeah. Well, let's go, Kim. Yeah, I agree. Let's get the heck out of here. Although I do want to check for like any, oh, like stuff. What the hell am I doing with my life? Why am I, of all people, eating lunch alone in this room? Brad thinks he knows everything, always targeting me. He knows I'm better than him. He's intimidated. Seb, that goddamn pea brain, all he thinks about is the workout. Everyone knows intellect beats all. And then Jen is so bloody annoying. She's always got everyone at the tip of her fingertips, asking me to do her work for her. Sally is too kind. She's not going far in the real world. And that Demi, with her lack of interest in anything, pisses me off. I was a goddamn scientist. Me and my mentor were so close to a breakthrough. If only we had more time. How the hell do I go from experimenting with chemicals to serving disgusting snacks and beverages? They'll all get what they deserve. So this was maybe the scientist that created the Hungry Lamu experiment and also all these human-fish hybrids in this place. We hear about him in Hungry Lamu as well. Um, I can't fully remember the story of that game, but it was like a scientist who was like the father, I think, of the creature that became Hungry Lamu or the human that became Hungry Lamu. Um, and I think this note relates to that in some way. So it was good that we came back to pick that up. It's time to go. Oh, yeah, we can see the guy now. Jellyfish? Oh, we're going to the jellyfish room. Oh, God. Deep, dark sea. We're in the depths now. Who's this? Oh, thank goodness. You work here, right? Sally. Oh, dear. Are you both okay? Yes, we're okay, but... Don't worry. You're going to be fine. Please, just tell us how to get out of here. Maybe, like, an emergency exit or something? Well, the building seems to be in lockdown. The other exits are shut. The only way out would be the entrance where you came in. We're doomed, then. Now, now. We're at the end of a park building right now. Beyond the deep, dark sea is the last exhibit, the touch pools. Then past that is the merch store, and you'll be back in the lobby. Come on, Kim. Just a little bit more. 
We'll make it out of here, I promise. Okay. Lady, come with us. It's dangerous here. Don't worry about me, dear. I'll be fine. I'll stay here and wait for any other guests. You two go ahead. Take care, Mom. We'll see you soon. You two, take care of each other. Who says Mom these days? It's kind of outdated, right? Look at all these jellyfish. Kind of pretty. Pretty but deadly. What the heck? There's little rock pools here. Received first aid kit, nice. Disposable taser. Ooh, maybe we can use that for like massive damage. Two smelling salts. There's loads of stuff in these rock pools. Oh, the manta ray and the horseshoe crab are in love. Wonder what a manta crab would look like. I don't think we want to know. I'm just going to search all of these pools, guys. You never know what might be in them, right? It's Bactrix Star and his family. A little SpongeBob reference. If SpongePod was here, he would just suck this place dry. Right, okay. What? <laughs> Questionable. Oh, we go in here. Yes, we can. There's a shady looking guy in here. Soft drink. Let me get this. Fire extinguisher, wow. It's Corey. Just wanted to skip out of a lame field trip and now the pal's out. Talk about bad luck, eh? Any of you got a cig? Got a lighter but got nothing to use it for. Smoking isn't cool, dude. It's my life, ain't it? Alright. You just smoke if you want, man, but, you know. You might get some uh, nasty side effects down the, down the road. Alright, nothing in those. Let's check the other bathroom. It's locked. Alright, we're not going in there, then. Anything in these? Ooh, sitting here. Two soft drinks. Man, there's loads of stuff here, like I said before. Pretty cool. Yuck, I don't understand why people would want to feel these slimy fish. Maybe the fish are attacking them and they have no choice but to fight back. <laughs> yeah, when is that ever going to happen, right? I like rock pools. I actually like it when you go to an aquarium and you get to, like, you know, touch the little fish in rock pools. Another shuttle door, huh? Looks like this one needs an employee access card to open. Maybe we could ask that lady for hers. Oh yeah, she should have hers. Alright, so we've got to go all the way back now, guys, to um, the previous room, speak to Sally, I think it was, and ask her for her employee keycard. Oh no, she's gone. Oh my god, alright, that scared me. Holy moly. That looks like Hungry Lamu right there. Jellyfish version. What's Fio gonna do? I'm gonna fight with Fio. Um, I'm actually gonna do... Ooh, low kick. A moderate kick aiming for the lower limbs. Moderate chance to inflict stun. Let's go with the low kick, guys. With Kim, I actually want to heal up. So we'll go with... The Band-Aid, I think. What's first aid kit do? Recovers HP and cures all ailments. Okay, we'll save that. Okay, cool. Oh, he stung us. Nasty. Theo used for low kick. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Critical hit and it's stunned. Alright, so now... What I'm actually going to do, guys, is... I'm going to guard as Theo, and with Kim, I'm going to fight, and we've got something called aimed miss, purposely miss the target and confuse him. Now I'll just use a swift swing. Oh no, he's woken up, he stunned us. We had guard on, so it's fine. Seven damage, and it's got bleed, nice. Theo's guarding. What's Theo going to do? Theo, I think, should fight, try and do a low kick again. Kim, fight, swift swing. Let's go. Ah, oh, no, he stunned us. Kim has been stunned. Doesn't seem to have done anything, though. What's Theo going to do now? I guess just keep fighting. I like that low kick. That's a good ability. And Kim, again, um, 
we'll use a swift swing. Why not? Ah, okay, that did big damage, that sting. We got a critical hit on Kim there. Man, I'm kind of nervous. What's Theo gonna do now? All right, this is where we gotta be a bit strategic, guys. Hmm. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna try to take a soft drink to restore stamina. Now with Kim, we will fight and we'll do the swift swing. Oh no, it's patched up its own wounds as well. Eight damage, it's bleeding again, sweet. What's Theo gonna do? I think now for Theo we wanna use maybe the band-aid. Um, there we go. And Kim, we can use the swift swing again. Nice, that came in useful because he would have been dead otherwise. Oh no, we missed! Okay, now we're gonna have to use... Low kick. We're gonna have to use a soft drink with Kim, so that her stamina comes back. Alright, let's go. Ooh, we took a damage, we took damage, guys. Seven damage. Alright, let's go. Uppercuts. Let's try using the uppercut again. And then with Kim, we'll use the swift swing again, I guess. Oh man, he's knocking our health right down. Alright, he's bleeding. Come on, man, this is so tough, this enemy. This is crazy. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna power through it. Let's go. Kim can, Kim can move properly again, nice. Eight damage. Come on, it's gotta die now, right? What's Theo gonna do? Oh man! Uh, again, probably do the low kick. And Kim is gonna have to heal, man. I could guard, but I just don't see the point in guarding. Like, I'd rather just power through it and damage it. Poison Sting? No! What the heck? It was critical as well. Alright, I think we'll do the uppercut with Theo and swift swing with Kim again. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, guys. It evaded. No. Die. It's still not died. What the heck, man? This is tough. Theo keeps missing as well. Use the uppercut, damn it. I just want to take this thing out at this point. It fell! Yes, because it had bleed on it. Alright, we got a lot of experience and we learned some new moves. That was tough. What the hell? Was that thing above us the entire time? Wait, where did the lady go? Oh no. Oh no. She must have dropped this. Let's go, Kim. She was either eaten by the jellyfish or she became it. I don't know. We got the access card though. Alright, let's go back guys. Hopefully we can get out of here now. I wonder if we can get inside this bathroom that was locked as well now. Nope. Alright, here we go. We're getting out. We're in the gift shop. Yay! It says no one in here. I want to check though. There's got to be some kind of a... Uh, there's a gauze. I want more than that. Empty, there's a picture. Ooh. Two scientists. Genetics, it says. Huh. Maybe that's one of the scientists from uh, Hungry Lamu. What else we got? It's empty. Wait. It's a key to the toilet. Why does this person have it in their locker? Oh, we can get into the toilet now. Sweet. Empty. Alright, so all of that's empty. Let's go back to the toilet, Sam. And, uh, see what's in there. I would like some health items. You know, even if they're in the toilet, I'll take them at this point. Kind of running low on stuff. It's locked. The key should work. Awesome. 
Oh, we got an optional fight, guys. That's pretty terrifying. But there's a lot of stuff beyond it, like collectibles. So I think we should do this. A leatherback sea turtle. What should we do? Should have healed it before I came into this fight, really. All right, fights. What's fake out? Psych causes the target to flinch and lowers their attack and defense. Oh, we should do that, guys. Oh, we need more stamina to do that. What we're going to have to do is use our first aid kit to heal these ailments, I think. We'll use it on Kim. First aid kit used on Kim. We'll give stamina to Theo. It's the only thing we can do. Oh my god. His defense has risen, guys, and his attack. So, Theo, fight. Let's use fake outs to try and lower his stuff. And then... Um, Kim pumps herself up, intensely raising her attack and speed. Alright, let's use pumped up on Kim. Okay, let's see what this uh, does. Ooh, nice. Wow. Let's go. So we've knocked his defenses down. Um, I've got to keep an eye on all this. He's he's putting it up again. What the heck? All right, now we're gonna fight with Theo. I'm gonna do the low kick, and then Kim. We need to actually drink a soft drink to get her stamina back. Hopefully, uh, he doesn't attack us in the meantime. What's Theo going to do? Right, now we're going to do the uppercuts. And with Kim, we're going to do the swift swing. Let's see what uh, happens now. It does 8 damage. It was a critical hit and it's got bleed on it now. Oh no, use Manic Cry. Oh wow, it just had minus 30 damage. What's Theo going to do? Again, let's do the uh, uppercut. With Kim, let's do the Swift Swing again. Nice. Okay, it's it's put its defense right up, although it keeps losing minus 30 because it's got bleed on it. Uh, what's Theo going to do? I'm just going to keep attacking. I'm going to go with the... Uh... Oh, actually, I need, to, um, I need to take a soft drink. It's kind of a quite... Old school this game, guys. You have to really manage what you're doing. So we'll use the swift swing again with Kim. Nice. Got bleed again. Oh my god, what's that done? That's raised its attack speed. Right, we're going to have to just hope we can do this now, guys. I'm going to power through it. As always, as is customary with my gameplay. It's got bleed again. That should be good. Used Manic Cry on Theo. It loses 30 health every time it does that though. It's very strange. Kim needs a soft drink again. Man, this is nuts. Alright, uh, soft drink. Stamina. Rise. Let's go. Yeah, our attacks aren't doing much at all now. Because it keeps raising its defense. So what we might need to do is use fake out to counteract that and with Kim we might need to use pumped up again there we go so we've pumped up Kim's attacks and now we're gonna lower its defenses okay it's missed us it keeps losing 30 health as well it's very strange I don't understand that right now let's go for some uh, some big damage with these guys Let's see what happens. Yeah, nine attack, nice. That only did two. All right, Theo's gonna need another soft drink. Soft drink used. All right, fight with Kim. Let's just do a whack. Here we go. I don't know how much more damage a sea turtle can take. 
Hey, it's fallen. Okay, it had one final death cry trying to take our defenses down. We've got crazy Kurt's ability now uh, with Kim as well. Smelling salt. I just want health items, really. First aid kit. Oh, I'll take that. Soft drink. First aid kit. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was definitely worth coming in here for that additional battle. So, guys, I think what I should probably do while we're out of a battle is not make the same mistake again and actually heal ourselves up now. Let's get out of here. Let's go and s sort of save these two and uh, hopefully escape this place. Feel like we're getting near the end of this now. So, anything else in this gift shop? Ooh. The bass plushie is actually kind of cute. Sucks that I'm pretty much traumatized by any fish by now. We could use it for exposure therapy. <laughs> yeah, we could do, I guess. Alright. I don't think there's anything else here, guys, so let's keep going. Merch store. Hey, we got to the lobby. We made it back. Come on. Let's get out of here, Theo. Alright. God, this nightmare is finally over. I'm gonna take a good long bath to get rid of this fish smell. Yeah. What's up, Kim? Let's go. Don't you feel... watched? What? We're so close, Kim. Let's just get out of here. And let's leave this behind us. We can't leave this behind us if it follows us out of here, Theo. It's a statue. Oh no, the dolphin! Oh god, okay, that was kind of freaky, what the heck? Goodbye. What is Theo going to do? Man, that dolphin is freaky. Um, Alright, what's Theo going to do? Let's have a look. What attacks do we have? 25 stamina, wow. A powerful combat attack of punches and kicks dealing high damage. With a moderate chance to inflict stun or sleep. Let's do this, guys. We've got the stamina for it. And then fight will use crazy cuts with uh, Kim. In fact, no, we'll use pumped up. Then we'll use crazy cuts next time. Right, here we go. He missed us with his first attack as well. Right, attack up with Kim. And now, hopefully Theo does this attack. Well, that only did 10? Are you kidding me? At least we put him to sleep, though. All right, we're going to do low kick and then we're gonna do this crazy cuts thing with Kim the dolphins out cold oh 18 damage Wow and then we use the low kick okay so now what do we want to do guys I think now we want to do low kick again with Theo and then with uh, Kim will do crazy cuts again still out cold Nice. Doing some massive damage here. He's still out cold, man. This is kind of good. All right. I'm going to do low kick again. And with Kim, I'm going to do the swift swing. Let's go. He's still out cold. Damn, that does quite a lot of damage. Now he's got bleed on him as well. He's getting murked. Yeah, we'll just use, we'll just use like lower attacks now, guys. Because I, I haven't got much more in terms of um, in terms of stamina right now. What's Theo going to do? Fight. Uh, let's do low kick. And Kim will do a guard. Hopefully this raises our stamina or something. Oh yeah, guarding does raise your stamina. Okay, that's good. What's Theo going to do? Well, we'll guard again with Theo now. And then with Kim, we'll, um, we'll guard as well. He's still out cold, so this is fine. We're just getting our stamina back up, guys. Okay, now with Theo, what we'll do is another uppercut. And with Kim, we're going to use our pumped up ability as well. Oh no, he's attacking now. Theo's confused. Great. All right, let's do this. So, Theo, let's do low kick. And then with Kim, we'll do crazy cuts. Let's do this. 
Nice, did 30 damage, wow. Fio's confused. He hits himself instead, no. What's Fio gonna do? I guess we just guard for now as Fio. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna guard as both. Because we need to raise our stamina. Man, he's got bleed on him, he's losing loads of health. I'm gonna keep guarding with both of them, just raise that stamina up. I'm going to use my first aid kit just to um, get rid of Confuse on Theo, guys. And now with Kim, what we're going to do is the Swift Swing. Oh no. His attack's up. Hey, we defeated it. Nice. I was kind of worried for a second there. Okay, we did it. That wasn't too bad. Ah, <sighs> says Theo. Ah, <sighs> says Kim. Now it's over. Let's go, Kim. Right behind you, Theo. All right, sweet. So I think we're uh, we're all done here. Hey, the bus! Hurry, Theo. Let's go. Better run to the bus. Don't want to miss it after all that. I know you said we didn't need a big celebration for our anniversary, but you have to admit, that was a pretty big date. Considering we almost died multiple times, <laughs> I guess it was a pretty big date. Yep. I'm lucky to have you, Kim. I know, Theo. Me too. Aw, nice little date for them. Went a bit south, you know, with a killer marine life and human hybrid fish, but we got there in the end. And here we go, guys, that is the end. Sea mongrel, very strange name. But then I guess so was Hungry Lamu, right? That was actually fun. I actually think there's a lot more gameplay to this one than Hungry Lamu because you actually had to be strategic. Um, my commentary is probably going to be kind of trash during those um, fights because I was really trying to work out what to do. But at least you got to see, like, you know, how I worked my way through the fights. Everyone's going to be different with games like this. I like to brute force my way through them. That's how I always used to play these games during the PS1 days, which is obviously what this game is based off. Those kind of PlayStation 1 era Japanese RPGs. But yeah, it was fun, guys. I liked that. Had some scary bits, even. And um, some, you know, very peculiar moments. So we now go back to the main menu. Uh... Not much more to say about this one, probably won't do a story explained for it, although I do think there are some similarities with Hungry Lamu in some ways in which this game does cross over to that one with the scientist and stuff and the, you know, human-animal experiment hybrid stuff. But it was kind of like a nice addition to the story of Hungry Lamu and hopefully you enjoyed this video today, a bit different to usual kind of games I play on the channel. With that said, if you did enjoy this video and you want to check out this game for yourself, there's a link in the description to the game. And if you liked the video, leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.